Hi everyone, I'm Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today I'm going to give you 10 tips to help you thrive in your first graphic design job. All right, let's get started. Whether you're working in-house, doing freelance, or working at an agency, these are a few things that I wish that I had known when I was first starting out. Number one, you're not expected to know everything. You might feel a lot of pressure to prove yourself, and that is totally normal. And this is especially true if you have a four-year degree. You probably think, they expect me to know a lot because I have done this for four years. But that's probably not the case, and it's totally okay to ask questions. In fact, in your first few months at a new job, you should be asking as many questions as possible. You definitely don't want to pretend to understand, and then like a year in, you still don't know about that one specific thing, that's going to look a lot worse. So ask questions and feel comfortable. Number two, take notes. When somebody gives you instructions about your job, write them down and don't be afraid to kind of stop them and say, Ooh, let me write this down because I know I'll need it in the future. This is going to make you look more professional and it'll keep you from asking the same thing twice. One thing that kind of bugged me as a trainer is when someone I was training would ask me the same question three or four or five times and they still wouldn't write down the answer. So I could expect that they would ask again later. So it's totally okay to write things down and you should. Number three, save everything and name your files well. One thing you should ask if they don't cover it in the first couple days is how to save your files. Most companies have a file naming structure. If they don't, you might want to refer to this video right up here at the top of your screen. That one shows how to name files. Um, it's just my way of doing it. And I think it's pretty successful. I still name my files like this several years later, and it's sort of um, a combination of a few different companies ways of naming the files. Another thing to know is make sure you're not making changes to the original file. Open that file up, save as version two or three or whatever it is, and then make your changes. So many times I would have clients who wanted to go back to something they wanted two versions ago before the changes they made. So it's good to have those saved on your computer so you can just pull it up and you're ready to go. Number four, learn the keyboard shortcuts and get fast. I've got a whole video on keyboard shortcuts and that'll be right up here at the top of your screen too. So check that out. It will save you hours of time. Number five, don't take feedback personally, but stand up for your designs. If you think you've made good choices, design is subjective. So you're going to have many different opinions on what is good design and what isn't. And revisions are always part of the process. If someone asks you to change something, it's not a dig at your skills at all. It's just part of collaboration and differing opinions. On the other hand, it's totally okay to kind of defend your design decisions. Usually when I would get a revision back from my boss, I'll say something like, okay, I will totally make that change, but I want to explain why I did it that way in the first place. After explaining a lot of times, my creative director would say, oh, okay, that totally makes sense. Let me take this back to my boss or whoever. And then they would come back and say, don't make that change after all, we're going to send it to the client as is. So it's totally okay to give them the reasoning behind your decisions. Number six, over communicate at first. It's a great idea at first to check in regularly with your boss, show them um, your iterations, show them your progress and what's being made. This helps to build trust with your coworkers and it also avoids major do overs. And as you get more comfortable in your role and you know what's needed from you, you can do this less often. Number seven, stay organized. Create a system for yourself, for deadlines, projects, and file locations. Even a basic checklist can make your life so much easier. A lot of times your company will already have something in place for this, like HubSpot or Salesforce, and you should definitely be using that. But I also like to have a separate checklist just for myself that's kind of in my own style and is more useful to me. I use Trello for this, which I absolutely love. And I'll try to make a video soon about how I use this for graphic design. If it is done, it'll be right up here at the top of your screen. Number eight, learn the tools your team uses. This kind of goes along with the other one. Your company might use Slack, Dropbox, Google Drive, um, Asana. They might even use Trello. Um, it's just a good idea to make sure you are learning how to use those. 
don't go rogue and just be like, I'm not using that. I got my own system because that is not going to look good. Those tools are there for collaboration and for teamwork. It helps when everybody's on the same page. Number nine, watch and listen. If you work within a team of designers, it's a great idea to kind of sit back and watch how they do what they do at this company. So how do they respond to their boss? How do they take critique? If they're presenting work, learn how they're presenting it. When you're in your first job, all of these things are going to be new to you and it's easy and nice to be able to just look at other designers and do what they do because they have a bead on how the company works if they've been there a while. Number 10, keep learning. Graphic design changes all the time and it's best to stay on top of trends. Now you may not be able to use trends very much in your position, but it's good to know that they're out there. And of course, stay on top of the software you're using, whether it's Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, all of these are always changing all the time. It's best to know all those new tips and tricks because they will speed up your workflow. It's really important to stay curious and keep growing as a designer. Bonus tip. If your boss asks you to do something, stop what you're doing and do it right then. Now, of course you need to use common sense with this tip. So if you've got a really hot project that has to be done right now, you could stop and ask him, Hey, you know, I've got this going on. Do you want this before or after that? But most of the time you're going to want to just get his project done first, especially if it's just a 10 minute thing. All right, I hope these tips will help you in your first graphic design job. If you're a more seasoned designer and there's one that I left out, please add that to the comments section below. And I'll see you next week with another graphic design video. Thank you.